Good evening to the St. Andrews community and to anyone that's uh, found their way to uh, YouTube or Facebook. This is a very simple reading of evening prayer for Monday in Holy Week. Inevitably, there's going to be a cat at some point uh, during this recording uh, between me and the computer, perhaps on the prayer book. And so to be less distracting, I thought it may be wise to put up this powerful Holy Week painting by our own Wendy Fletcher, rather than have the cat uh, distracting us. And so let us uh, open our hearts to hear the words of scripture, to hear the prayers that follow that uh, Christ would pray through us that God's will would be done on earth as in heaven. <clears throat> Christ became obedient unto death for us, even death upon a cross. He was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and praise. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. portion of Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me through and through from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak and upright in your judgment. Indeed, I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me and will make me understand wisdom secretly. Purge me from my sin and I shall be pure. Wash me and I shall be clean indeed. Make me hear of joy and gladness that the body you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. I shall teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness, O God of my salvation. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Had you desired, it, I would have offered sacrifice, but you take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. And so we pray, Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the 12th chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. <clears throat> The Lord says, I have abandoned my house, left my heritage. I have delivered the beloved of my heart into the hand of her enemies. To me, my heritage has behaved like a lion in the forest. It roared at me, so now I hate it. My heritage has become a hyena's lair to me, with birds of prey all round her. Go, assemble all the wild animals, make them come and gorge themselves. Many shepherds have laid my vineyard waste have trampled over my plot of land, the plot of land which was my joy, reducing it to a deserted wilderness. They have made it a waste, wasted it mourns before me. The whole land has been devastated and no one takes it to heart. On all the bare heights of the desert, spoilers have come. 
for the Lord wields a devouring sword from one end of the land to the other. There is no peace for anyone. Wheat they have sown, but thorns they reap. They have worn themselves out to no profit. They are disappointed in their harvests because of the Lord's burning anger. Thus says the Lord, as regards all my evil neighbors who have laid hands on the heritage I granted my people Israel, look, I shall uproot them from their soil, and I shall uproot the house of Judah from among them. Yet once uprooted, I shall take pity on them again and bring them back each to their own heritage, each to their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response, we offer a canticle, this being the writing of Anselm of Canterbury, a song of Christ's goodness. Jesus, as a mother, you gather your people to you. You are gentle with us as a mother with her children. Often you weep over our sins and our pride. Tenderly you draw us from hatred and judgment. You comfort us in sorrow and bind up our wounds. In sickness you nurse us with pure milk and feed us. Jesus, by your dying we are born to new life. By your anguish and labor we come forth in joy. Despair turns to hope through your sweet goodness. Through your gentleness, we find comfort in fear. Your warmth gives life to the dead. Your touch makes sinners righteous. Lord Jesus, in your mercy, heal us. In your love and tenderness, remake us. In your compassion, bring grace and forgiveness. For the beauty of heaven, may your love prepare us. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. A great crowd of Jews heard that Jesus was there and came not only on his account, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests planned to kill Lazarus as well, since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The next day, the great crowd of people coming up for the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. They took branches of palm and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who is coming in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and mounted it. As it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is approaching, sitting on the foal of a donkey. At first, his disciples did not understand these things, but later, after Jesus had been glorified, they remembered that this had been written about him and that they had done this to him. So the crowd who had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead kept bearing witness to it. This was another reason why the crowd came out to meet him. They had heard that he had done this sign. Then the Pharisees said to one another, you see, you are not helping at all. Look, the world has gone after him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In response, we join with Mary in the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Fill with your spirit Christ's broken body, the church. Give to Christian people everywhere a deep longing to take up the cross and to understand its mysterious glory. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. Bless those who lead the church's worship at this solemn time. In the preaching of the word, in the hearing of the word, draw your people close to you. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. Strengthen those among us who are preparing for baptism, confirmation, reaffirmation, or reception, together with those who guide and support them. Teach them what it means to die and to rise with Christ and prepare them to receive the breath of his spirit. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. Look in your mercy upon the world you loved so much that you sent your son to suffer and to die for us. Strengthen those who work to share the reconciliation won at such a cost upon the cross. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. Bring healing, O God, by the wounds of Christ to all who are weighed down by pain, sickness, and injustice. Help the lonely and the betrayed, the suffering and the dying, to find strength in the companionship of Jesus and in his passion to know their salvation. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. Welcome into paradise, all who have left this world in your friendship. According to your promises, bring them with all your saints to share in all the benefits of Christ's death and resurrection. By the Savior's cross and passion, Lord, save us and help us. In this moment of silence, I encourage you to identify and name before God your own petitions and thanksgivings. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal one, have mercy upon us. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son was crucified yet entered into glory, may we, walking the way of the cross, find it is for us the way of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Peace to all.